There's been absolutely rocks of new footage and edits from all over the place. I reckon it's because it's getting to that time of year, you know, and everybody's trying to take a punt at Sotty. And I think one of them probably is Sotty, actually. But we'll uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Let me know what you think is Sotty in the comments below. Before all that, though, let's start off with the grey them intuition liners that have uh, just started shipping the other day. Damn, I wish I had them. So these come off the back of the Clarks and separately Weekend collab, and I think it's because of that momentum that people like whipped themselves up into a bit of a frenzy when the uh, original teaser picture dropped. There was a fair few people in the comments guessing and like probably wanting it to be uh, this medium skater that had been rumoured to come out, so like a new shell size. Also, people were guessing maybe it was going to be a basement pro model or even a Switchero Kanashima Pro model. I was pretty buzzing and convinced it was going to be this medium, but it turns out it was just a, a new grey Intuition Lemskates liner. <laughs> Funny though, because people had like hyped it up themselves, thinking that it might be a new skate, but I guess that just speaks to like the power of them's marketing and like the role they've been on at the moment just with releasing things. By the power of grey skulls. Talking to Switchero Kanashima though, he released a ridiculous ridiculous edit man he is an absolute master of the craft like beautiful skating really technical super stylish just makes everything look utterly brilliant man we make it look easy <laughs> oh. Someone who did bag themselves a new pro skates was Nils Janssens who's been on the absolute tear recently winning stuff all over the place now there's been a few people that the uh, colourway of this latest release hasn't quite hit with. I heard somebody mention that they actually <laughs> look like Tupperware that's had spaghetti in it and it's stained the bottom of it. Mom spaghetti, it's all ready. Ready, 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 ready. Oh mate, that's a nightmare, isn't it? Spaghetti bolognese and Tupperware, it's like rookie error mate you'll be scrubbing that for days you may as well just like melt the thing and go and get a new one i'd also seen somebody comparing the colorway to donald trump <laughs> i mean personally i i would have just stuck with what the original inspiration for this skate was man that would have been absolutely banging yeah that's nice but like with uh, a lot of uh, skate releases recently there's been other pictures that have come out so they look a little bit better and they definitely look a little bit better in the edit and the edit is banging man it is really really good nils is skating is absolutely top rate the execution on all of these tricks is absolutely wonderful man he keeps the tricks relatively simple but what he does focus on is like amplitude bangers loads of style loads of control so the edit just comes across like completely flawless like really good spot selection in there as well i actually think it'd be a good example to show an outsider you know it's not too overly complicated it's like that is massive that is a banger that looks really stylish now i didn't want to have to do this but uh it's been brought to my attention by a fair few people and i think it's been long enough you know and i think the time is right it's time to call this person out the person in question is uh air manatee you know the bloke who has that catchphrase which is dangerously similar to tyson fury's catchphrase which he used first but that's not uh that's not the reason he's actually being called out here unfortunately he's being called out for this if this video gets a hundred comments and a thousand likes, I will make this rail and try this. A hundred comments and a thousand likes, I will make this rail and try this. And uh, he even posted a story of him actually going to get the equipment to build it, but he's still not done the thing. That was ten weeks ago. Come on, mate, you can't be giving it the big in, like, asking for likes and comments and then not do the thing, like. Christmas is coming, be a good one if, like, you're just sticking a Santa outfit, you know, Try and do that soul to, was it a mute backflip from a Stefan Horngeish like? I mean, everybody wants to see it, come on, like TikTok. I've got an idea for you and it'll get you loads of attention as well. Really hype the thing up, yeah? Do it on New Year's Eve. 10 second countdown, everybody's counting down. It's almost over like to be midnight. The New Year's coming in and you're just firing away at that ramp that you've built. <laughs> Go for that soul backflip, oh, mate. Imagine bringing in the New Year upside down, like, Oh, yeah, come on. Mate, 
Gangio Silverio, aka Magnum Silverio, has managed to bag himself a pro frame from 50-50. The maddest thing about the first promo image, though, is you can barely see the frame, man. You have to go searching for the thing. Like, you might even half mistake it as like an advert for like compost or something. The picture and trick look absolutely sick. It's just that like the frame is in the corner and like you can't really see the details on it or anything. A day later though, they did release more detailed pictures where you could see the two color print designed by Clara Joyce. As with all 50-50 releases, there's some bundle options as well. I like how they said we've also partnered with Chroma Wheels. Hang about. Chroma are 50-50, it's the same people, like, who are you trying to kid? Trying to get out to like a work lunch, oh yeah, I've got a meeting with uh, Chroma, uh, just gonna take the company card, yeah, I'll be back in about mm, three hours or something. That's like a power sliding, Matthias, man, every time you go there, depending on what company you ask for, he puts on like a different wig, because it's the same address, oh, I'm looking for Icon, okay, put, the, put on this wig, put on this jacket, yeah, 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 I'm Icon, like, uh, how can I help you? Oh, actually, no, sorry, I'm uh, looking for God's, oh, oh, oh. All right, God's here, can I help you? Oh, actually, I'm uh, looking for USD. Oh, uh, no worries. Hello, heard you were looking for USD? I mean, I've got no problem with it. It's totally a common practice. I just think it's a, a little bit funny. There's also a really good edit to go with a thing. I've picked four tricks from this disaster TTP, which is unreal. Then this three point turn to misfit. A fat zero kind grind revert to forward. Then a nice talk sold to a 270 front savant. So kind of just in time for the festive season, I managed to get a restock on all the Spotty Dog teas and the Spotty Dog snack sack. Get over there, get them while you can. These are very limited quantities and uh, once these ones go, it's like, uh, I'm not gonna be restocking them. Gods have also recently released their white team skate and I swear I heard somewhere that they came with a uh, rip dye so you can uh, dye them whatever color you want, kind of like aggressive mall days. It's getting a bit like Blue Peter out there. People should send like random bits with the skates just to see if people can like attach them to them, like self-adhesive boggly eyes, I don't know, get a couple of toilet rolls, stick them on there, turn your skate into a Dalek. You would make a good Dalek. Can we get a little crowd funder going for Robbie Pitts? Get him all the equipment, get him a little stand at the Blading Cup or Winter Clash, something like that. So we can do like a full on DIY workshop. That would be amazing, man. Absolute style icon. Dominic Sagona has announced his 25th anniversary pro model sway in what is possibly the most intense reel I've ever seen. If Michael Bay did rollerblading adverts. I absolutely love it. The production on it is unbelievable. Buzzing for Dominic Sagona, who also looks like he's got a range of hats coming as well. These look top quality. There's been absolutely tons of edits. Let's like crack into a few of these. First of all, you've had Jake Dotson out there grinding and jumping off of roofs for his uh, wheel promo. This little gem was filmed by Carter LeBlanc and it's full of absolute crack. Because, man. It's a Sean Keane dropped his pro model edit. There's been a, a little bit of a wait for this one, but it's here now. It's a full on mind melter. It's like he's gone out there, licked a battery, and then just gone full charge on the tech and creativity. I reckon it's got at least a handful of my favourite tricks I've seen this year. That's amazing. That's amazing news. Takeshi Yasutaiko was sending it into orbit for his pro skate promo, also showing off a little bit of his technical skill and flair. That's why he's the GOAT! The GOAT! <laughs> and Julian Kudo went completely in, winning comps and filming a street edit in seven days. Looney, man. Now for the video that I personally think is uh, Sotty. I mean, Sotty Dog. Dominic Bruce. Dom is a phenomenal skater, and I feel like his skating covers all aspects of rollerblading at the highest levels. Well, certainly the parts that I'm excited about, and especially blading's recent ventures into more creative skating. There's a freedom to modern skating that Dom captures so well. He opens up the landscape for what is possible to skate, which is not only inspirational, but also exciting, because you just don't know what you might see in one of his edits. His skills allow him to hurtle at any obstacle and produce something captivating. It sometimes feels like he's making it up on the spot, but his abilities make it look perfectly calculated and bring a level of conviction that's hard to deny. Probably end up doing a full video on Sotty or like some sort of awards show video type thing, but uh, let me know who you think the Sotty is. Mary Clip Mass. Everyone. Here is your chance to win uh, the muzzle wheels of your choice. You've either got like 56, 59 or the 80s. Uh, also with that you'd get a spotty dog bag and a spotty dog t-shirt. 
All you need to do is post up a clip, any old clip, and use hashtag Spotty Clipmas. Doesn't have to be the most like banging clip in the world, just make it fun, make it creative, make it just interesting, do something a little bit silly, as long as you're safe. And uh, a winner will be announced on the 24th. Talking of Muzzle, actually, they've been updating the site with loads of different products. But I wanted to speak about the waist ink long sleeve because there's a story behind it. And I think these kind of things are important. Sam's been working in the print trade for over a decade now and like, waist inks is something that's really bothered him he's always been trying to find ways to reduce waste and like repurpose things as much as possible and it was niggling at him that inevitably due to the nature of the job mixing inks and stuff like that you get some left over which is like surplus to requirement so he's come up with this great idea along with kaylee who's come up with a design to use these inks which are perfectly good by the way to design a t-shirt he's out there trying to save the environment he's a rollerblading zone captain planet like anybody else want to go green he's been watching that he's been watching attenborough and a little bit of the rollerblade and he's like oh, how can i merge these worlds and he's like oh, i know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna save this ink also, if you use Moise at checkout, you'll get a 10% off and 10% goes to help support me and keep me doing this thing. USD have recently announced Nicole Machado has joined the team. I've spoken about her before and the future stars of rollerblading. She's a really great skater and an amazing addition to USD, not only for like her abilities, skills and style, but also as a really good role model, not just for like girls, but like young kids and just generally anybody really she's good at everything like i don't know if you've noticed but it's absolutely blitz outside in the uk at the moment well shuriken have got you covered with all sorts of headgear you've got the regular beanies then you've got the full face snud type things perfect for those baltic missions recently we had the tragic news of the passing of charlie lockyer if you didn't know who Charlie Lockyer was, he was a massive figure within rollerblading, especially in the UK. First time I ever seen Charlie skating was in a video called Skids, which I absolutely love, man. Really great skating in there, really great style. He was well loved within the community. Like in recent years, if you would have ever seen him at comps or just out and about, he was like the most enthusiastic person there. Like a heart full of love and enthusiasm, always encouraging the youth, like an amazing figure, like I said before, and like a really sad, sad loss for rollerblading. Like rest in peace, Charlie Lockyer. Enormous shout out to my patrons for supporting me, helping me keep this thing going. Your names are up on the screen. If you want to join them, it starts from like three quid, you get exclusive videos, all sorts of good stuff like that. Here's a couple of videos you can watch in the meantime. Uh, see you again soon. Spotty Dog. <laughs>